But LG Silo 5 here, I'm going to show you two ways to do a screenshot as well as how to do the screen capture scrolling, okay? So first thing, the easiest way to do it, I think, is uh, what you want to do is press and hold two buttons, the power button and volume down. You want to press and hold both buttons. Oops, do it again. Press and hold both buttons, and you'll hear it and see a flash, okay? You don't want to just press them both at the same time really quick. You want to press and hold until you hear it, okay? Now, all of your screenshots will be saved directly into your gallery photos gallery folder right there so you can tap on that you can just tap on albums and then you can go ahead and tap a new folder should be called screenshots here okay so you can tap on screenshots and see all your screenshots right there okay now if I take a screenshot again you can see get this little window here you can share it I mean you can go ahead and you can make edits here as well okay now the second way to take a screenshot is what we're gonna do is what you can do is this okay so just go ahead and slide down the, the notifications like this. And then you see this right here, okay? That's capture right here. I can tap on that and take a screenshot. Or if I just slide down again, it says capture plus right there, okay? So what I can do is I can go ahead and just tap on that. And now I can go ahead and I can do my edits and whatnot on here as well. You can go ahead and change things around. You can write things. You can go ahead and erase it. You can put text in there. You can share it. Anyways, if you do it this way using the uh, capture plus, it doesn't save automatically to the uh, photos gallery. You have to tap on the check mark here and then tap on gallery. And now it's going to be saved directly into your gallery right here, as you can see. And it's going to be under screen or capture plus, not under screenshots. It's a capture plus right here. Now, another cool thing is too, is in regards to the um, scrolling capture, let's say that you're um, on a website and there's like a lot of uh, things that you want to take a screenshot of, but you don't want to take a bunch of like multiple screenshots. What you can do, for instance, is, is this, okay? Now it's not going to work if we do it the uh, volume down power button. We're not going to get like an option down here to start scrolling down. What you have to use is the capture plus. So if I just scroll down again like this, and then I go ahead and tap on the capture here. I can tap on that, or like I said, I can just go all the way down like this and tap it again. So let me just tap it right there. And then you see like a option that says extend it right here. If I tap on that, now it's moving. Now it's moving. Now if I want to stop it, I got to tap up here. Ready? Stop right there. That's good. Now remember, every time you use the Capture Plus, it doesn't get saved automatically into your gallery. You have to click on the check mark and click on gallery. And now that is going to be saved directly into our gallery. And don't forget, that is under Capture Plus because we use Capture Plus. So if I tap on that, now we can see that scroll right here. And then you can see the whole uh, page, however um, length, whatever length you want it. So pretty simple to do. Any issues or anything like that, just uh, comment below. See you on the next one.